Hey guys, I am back to show you my configuration in uh, Nando's do-it-yourself eGPU setup 1.3. Uh, I found it's almost necessary to completely redo your configuration each time you need to make a change. Uh, at least after you figure out what your PCI compaction setting is. Uh, and that is because I was getting several boot errors uh, just from changing settings maybe too many times. So you have to start with a clean startup.bat. So this is what I'm going to do first here. I'll reset that. Okay, so if you notice on the right side, uh, at the bottom of that black box, it shows the uh, startup.bat contents, and so it just got cleared. And so now the next step I usually do is changing the, ch uh, the chain loader back to MBR because when it resets, it uh, automatically changes to MBR2, so we want to make that MBR instead. And then go back, and the next thing I do is uh, I have to change my DGPU to on demoted because I can't turn it off. There's no iGPU in this system, so the only option I have is to demote the the DGPU. And when that is done, I push F3 to add that command to the startup.bat. Okay. Uh, next, I will run PCI compaction. Uh, I was just testing a different one, which was somewhat unstable, so I'm going back to the one that I know is the best. And for me, this is a 36-bit uh, compaction uh, endpoint, and then I run. And I select only the eGPU. I don't force anything, and that'll go through. Uh, I have noticed there are a couple errors sometimes when I do this. Uh, but it seems to not make a difference in the end. Okay, so I just ran my compaction. Uh, looking at the startup.bat one more time, I see all the commands that uh, I know will lead to a successful chain load. So uh, let's have it try that out. Do a chain loader test run. Okay, so far so good. Might need to zoom out here and show my external. And there it is.